All right, so you're looking to get into intermittent fasting, which is awesome. It's a great way to lose body fat, you're gonna lose weight. The problem is I was scrolling through YouTube and I was like, I need to make a video on this because all the channels I saw, the videos I saw, of people I respect, I think they're great, but the problem is some of the videos were basically, here's the, each type of intermittent fasting you can do, good luck, right? It gave no experience whatsoever, it didn't kind of wrap in any benefit of each type of fast. It just kind of gave you the structure and it said, go after it, right? For me, that's not very helpful. So what I want to do is give you my three favorite types of fast and the benefits of each because there's there's one that's going to help you maintain more muscle mass as you drop, right? There's another one that's going to help you just light your metabolism on fire and you will lose as much weight as possible. That's like my, oh shit, there's a wedding come up. I got to crank up my metabolism to nth degree. Let's drop as much weight as possible, right? So there's an extreme, extreme measures. And there's another one to help you kind of ease into intermittent fasting so your body gets used to it. And at the very end, what I want to do is show you the way I've tweaked it because I'm selfish with my goals, right? I want to maintain or even put on a little bit of muscle mass as I'm dropping body fat, maintain a lower percentage of body fat, but also still get the detoxifying benefits you get from a longer fast. And I like to have my Saturdays. I like to eat like crazy and have a little fun and relax. So I figured a way to tweak all those together and kind of create this perfect little fast or perfect week that you can do too. So let's get after it. All right, so the first one I want to talk about is 16-8. Now this is great for the general population. If you're, you know, you need to lose 20, 30 pounds, maybe even like 15 or so, and you're just kind of unstructured with your diet, just this simple fact of you getting a timeline around when you can eat will actually help you lose body fat. There's a study done, and I hate studies like this because obviously I don't agree with using lab rats to test anything on, right? So it's kind of effed up. But there's a study on this that does give a little insight of how well this works. They, they had these rats where they tested that they fed them you know, the same amount of calories, but they split it up to where one group was the control group where they just ate the same amount of calories over a 24 hour period. The other one had a 16 to eight split where they only ate those calories over the eight hours. And those ones maintain a lower percent body fat. The other ones actually got clinically obese and probably died in a horrible study, right? But it just shows you that cramming those calories into a specific window can really have a big benefit. And you might think, and this is what I thought to at first, 16 hours is probably not enough to really make a big benefit because some people wake up, they don't eat breakfast anyways, and that's kind of their normal routine. But when you do it in a very methodical, well thought out way, and you're not starting or breaking your fast with like a coffee with creamer and things like that, you're gonna see a huge benefit to it. All right, so the next one is a 20 hour fast with a four hour window. And the reason I love this one is because you can still maintain your muscle mass or even put on a little muscle mass if you break your fast correctly. So right when you get done with your fasting period, if you have a nice, really good isolate, whether it's pea protein, whey protein, whatever it is, you just cram down an isolate, right? So you might get 75 grams for a male, maybe 50 grams for a female. Some will say that you don't have enough digestive enzymes to break down that much protein. In my experience, you do. There's a significant difference when I take in, you know, 200 grams of protein in that four hour window, then I take in 100, right? I will lose muscle mass taking in 100 grams. I will actually maintain and even put on a little muscle mass when I take in 200 grams of protein in that window. So there's something to it. You know, it may not show it in like clinical studies, which most of the time, let's all agree, they're kind of bullshit because they're done with people who don't really follow through with the advice. They're just average Joes. We're, we're on this spectrum. If you're watching this video, I'm sure they're on this athletic spectrum, which is a totally different one. My dog's having a dream there. You're on a totally different spectrum. So what you want to do is break your fast, do it in that four hour window, get enough protein where you can maintain a certain amount of muscle mass. And the best thing about this too is you still get those detoxifying benefits you get from that 20 hour fast because that's a huge period of time. You're going to be hurting by the end of the day by that time comes. And for me personally, I always do it towards the night, right? So I'll wake up in the morning, fast all day, and I'll hit probably seven, eight o'clock at night that's my eating window, right? So eight to 12, whatever it may be. For me, that's the best time because if I try to fast during that period where I'm about to go to bed, I will be wired. I'm, I'm sure you've done this. If you ever try to fast in your life, either a juice fast or anything like that, you'll notice that as that fast progresses throughout the day, you almost get way more energy than you probably should, right? You get kind of get this, you're, you're wired beyond belief because you're running off of something that, you know, you're, you're running off fumes basically, it feels like, but you actually feel pretty good. All right, the last one is the one meal fast. Now this one is crazy, it's extreme. I don't recommend this for everybody, but if you are in a pinch, right? I'm not prescribing this, this is just my experience with clients and doing this myself. If you need to drop a ton of weight, you do this 22 hour fast basically, or even 23, you have an hour of eating. Basically you have one giant meal, make it high in protein, high in carbs, high in you know, good quality fats, 
and make a giant meal out of it and that's your meal for the day. Right? You're still not going to hit those protein numbers, so I don't recommend this for anybody who's a bodybuilder who wants to put on you know, any muscle at all. It's just not enough for that. You might be able to maintain a little bit as you drop, but you're going to drop a little bit of body or a little bit of muscle mass as you go. So be careful with this one. This is for those extreme situations where you got a wedding coming up and you got to cram a new address, or you, you know you're a guy and you just need to drop as much weight as possible. You got a reunion coming up, whatever it may be, whatever event in life you have that you just want to you want to drop as much weight as possible. You want to make an impression. This is the one for you. Finally, the version of fasting that I do. So right, I still do that 20 hour fast, that four hour window, but couple things, right? I'm really religious during the week where I have that window. That's my window. I don't break it. I have those four hours where I eat. And during that time, I make sure I get at least 200 grams of protein, sometimes a little more because I'm, you know, 215 pounds. And I really get that protein number in. You know, I'm not too worried about the type of carbs I get. You know, I might get rice. I might get a couple of tortillas in there. You know, I like to make my burritos. I'm vegan, so I do Beyond Meat. So I get a couple of those, three, four of those burgers in there. And I really push the protein number super high. It's still fairly clean. Um, but there's a ton of protein in it, and that's what really matters. Now, Saturday, because you'll notice if you do this for six days straight, your body fat will drop a ton. And you'll actually look, if you know, if you're a lower body fat, you'll see you'll look a little depleted, right? It's almost like you've ever died for a competition or you've seen somebody who has, they kind of get that depleted state where they're just dieting really hard, their muscles look a little bit flat. So on Saturday, it's just basically a refeed day. Eat as much protein as possible, eat as much, you know, good carbs as possible, good fats, and just load up that entire day. Sometimes, you know, girlfriend bakes me cookies, we go a little crazy that way, but the idea is kind of give yourself a break on that Saturday where you can eat again, and you'll notice if you do this correctly, you'll notice that week by week, your body fat goes down, your lean muscle mass slowly goes up, and it's just the best possible way for you to fast, in my opinion. So I hope that helps you, I hope you jump on this, try one of these fasts out for yourself, because to be honest with you, they work really great. I just got frustrated with going through the videos online and seeing that not a lot of them had any experience or benefits behind them. I wanted to give that to people who, you know, never done this before and they're kind of green and they're looking around for help. Hopefully this helps you. So have an incredible day. Get after it. Talk to you soon.